Hello, beautiful people. I just want to leave you a little video which is talking about civilization. Something I saw a while ago and I'm seeing it again. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So I was listening to a, a historian who was talking about the rise and fall of civilizations. And he, uh, what, what struck me was not the rise, okay? Yeah, so the guy, powerful and, uh, and go around killing everybody and, you know, going across the earth and, and, and making themselves known. What interested me was the fall of civilization and what happens and what happens over and over again in the fall of civilization. So what the man was explaining, the historian was explaining, was that all civilizations go through the same curve. It's like a bell curve, you know, of like starting off, getting very, very powerful, getting in, and then, then disappearing. During the, the stage where, where it starts to decline, the, the, the empire goes into decline, what happens is this. They start getting comfortable. They start focusing on um, pleasure rather than on the hard work of maintaining the empire. All of the leaders become fat and bloated. Sex becomes uh, very important, but not just sex, but distorted, perverted sex. It, uh, strange, extreme. Food becomes important. Food and alcohol and drugs and things like that, but especially food. And suddenly it's like the preparation of food, the eating of food. You know, you've heard about the Romans and the vomitariums that they used to have. But it's like the, even, even in, the, in the past empires, there would be shows. Of, of how to prepare food. And they just become lazy, unmotivated, and they start to become very self-obsessed and, and seeking pleasure. And that's where we are. Now, if you look at where, and if we, even if we look in terms of our, our civilization now, look at the television. What is it all about? The focus is on the glorification of people and the glorification of food. Yeah? And what I mean by the glorification of people is that we've gone into this really weird place where, where we celebrate people for no other reason than they're the ones who've been chosen to appear on the television, you know, this reality TV. And how many reality TV programs are there about food? Just, it's everywhere. Every time I go around to the, the um, my, my relatives, somebody preparing something on the television, making, whisking something. It's like food is the key thing now. It's all about food or people's lives. And seeing people who are not necessarily balanced. In fact, really the people that, appear on TV are extremely unbalanced and have unbalanced lives, very bizarre lives. And so it's kind of like everything that we see, if you look at all of the all of the series now that we see, all of the series, every single one, when I watch them, I'm, I'm just amazed at how they've injected sex into the series. But not just not just straight sex. It's all, I, I watched the latest uh, Almodovar, film. He's a famous Spanish uh, director. Um, and th this, he just basically the, the protagonist, which was Pe uh, Penelope Cruz, suddenly she's with this man and then suddenly she has a friend, a female friend, and then they're kissing and they have an affair and then she goes back to the man. It's like, this is, this is normal. This is normal. There was a thing called, I, I can't remember, something family, an uh, American horror show, I, I don't know, something like that. And it was just, in the first episode, was just every single kind of perversion that you could see was happening there. It's just everything. And so that's kind of where, where we are. So we're on 
this decline, if you look at the baddies, I mean, what are the baddies up to? They're just up to any single type of thing that inverts, perverts, everything that they're trying to push us toward is all perversion of, of the normal. Take normal and pervert it, okay? So what does that indicate? Well, it, it indicates that it's the, it's the fall. We're in the fall of that civilization that will not continue because they become fat and bloated, because they become too obsessed with this instead of them building, if you know what I mean. Now it's kind of like, now they become fat and lazy. Yeah, just look at George Soros, if you want a sign of that. Um, fat and horrible. And I mean, how old is he? He looks, George Soros's face, just, I mean, it, 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 how haggard could he, could he look any more haggard than what he is? He looks horrific. It's like, oh, like all of those baddies when they get really, really old, you think, how old are they really? I mean, you know, what's keeping them alive? Well, we know, but how old are they? Because they're just, you know, the face is just about, if they swing their head backwards and forwards, they're gonna clean the shoes, aren't they? I mean, they're just mega, 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 mega horrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, we're in the fall, in the decline. Everything's crumbling, everything's crumbling, and we can see that. And it, because it's time, it's time for the new one to start. It's a time for the new one to start. Let me tell you, Robert is a great um, uh, astrologer he, he, and, and channeler, and also he does uh, astral traveling, the whole shebang. Robert is from uh, Barcelona. He was saying that we actually enter into the age of light. So the age of darkness ends this year on December the 12th. Okay, and we enter officially into the age of light. So where are we now? Well, we are. You know when the sun's going to rise? I don't know if you've ever been up in the morning. I used to camp out and I would see the sunrise. When the sun is about to rise, but it hasn't come above the horizon, then we see light. Light starts to shine. Everything starts to lift. Although we actually haven't seen the direct sun. That's where we are. We're just about to move into the age of light, but we're in the in the moment where everything is being unveiled, everything is being seen. Why? Because the dawn's coming. Now, when we move into the age of light, it's a completely different shift. It's a shift. Now it's flipped. The energy's flipped. But that's why we're in, we haven't moved into it. That's why we're seeing all of the bad stuff going on, but we're seeing it because the light's coming on. Yeah, so interesting times. I'm very excited about that. I hadn't heard that. I actually thought we were in the age of light, but we're not. December the 12th, how about that? So there we are. We're in the fall of this society, this, this empire. It's crumbling like a flan in the cupboard, okay? Like an old flan left in the cupboard. It's going flat and the new one's gonna arise. So get whisking. Get whisking your batter because we're going to be the new flan, all right? And we're going to rise. My Yorkshire puddings, I've made Yorkshire puddings for, for 30 years, let's say. They've never risen. They've never risen. But my bloody batter is going to be, it's going, whoa, it's going to be the biggest fuck off cake ever. We are on the rise. We are on the rise. So have a lovely week and I'll see you all on Friday.